hi guys linda here in this video i'm going to show you how you can style your shorts with vv i know lots of girls have this very short full wavy wig but most times they don't know how to maintain the curls on the hair so in this video i'm going to show you how i wash it how i treat it to condition the hair and get it to look as beautiful as it originally looked we're going to start by detangling the hair brush the ends of the hair and take it all the way up this is going to help you to detangle the hair so brush from the down part and take it upwards completely detangle the entire hair before we proceed to the next step which is going to be washing the hair so take your time brush the hair from the down part to the up part to ensure that it is completely detangled before you can then put the hair into water because imagine getting hair that's already tangled wet and you're trying to detangle it when it's wet it's already going to get worse so ensure everything has been well brushed out and the hair is nice just see how beautiful the hair looks right now next we're going to be washing the hair so i just dropped the wig into my bowl and did i call it a bowl like my washing hand bowl and i'm just pouring water from a bucket to wet the hair so after i've completely gotten the entire wig wet i'm going to be using this shampoo right here and it's a hydrating shampoo the hair was really dry that's the reason why i chose to use a hydrating shampoo because this hair needs all the moisture it can get so i'm applying the shampoo to the hair you can see right now the hair is not even trying to foam because it's really dirty it's really dirty i'm gonna apply more shampoo yes because I'm trying to ensure that I get out all the deaths in the hair. So after this first wash, I'm going to rinse it off because this one right here is just to scratch the surface. I'm going to rinse it off. Then I'm going to apply shampoo again and really wash through the hair. Because this one right here, the hair, I haven't gotten the hair to start forming. Because until the hair starts to form, that's when you know that oh, the hair is becoming clean and the dirt in the hair is no longer swallowing up the foam that would have come out of the hair so this is like the second wash i'm gonna apply more shampoo be generous with your shampoo when you are washing your hair because the reason why you're washing the hair is because you want your hair to be clean so it's not by trying to be economic with your products so you can see right now that the hair is beginning to foam that that means if i rinse it off right now i'm going to get a very clean hair so what i'm doing right now is just brushing through the hair but i don't think this is necessary you can choose to just wash the hair with shampoo and rinse it off without having to brush with the hair brush next i'm gonna rinse off the shampoo from the hair i want to make sure that i rinse the hair completely and after i'm done rinsing the hair you can see that the water coming out of the hair right now is clean so i don't need to wash the hair anymore because it's pretty clean right now next what i'm going to do is after rinsing the hair i'm going to proceed to conditioning the hair the next step is to condition the hair and i'm using this stress me silky and smooth freeze and shine conditioner so i'm gonna be generous with this conditioner because i feel like conditioning your hair is one of the most important step when you, when you are washing your wig so i'm applying the conditioner all over all the sides of the hair from the upper down towards the tip of the hair and i'm gonna brush through the hair to also help me spread the conditioner on it The fourth step is to do an oil bath. It's not like I'm soaking the entire week in oil. No, I'm just going to apply a bit of my castor oil on the hair. The reason why I like to use castor oil on my wigs is because castor oil is a carrier oil. It's sort of like a fatty oil. So when I put this on the hair, it's going to seep in through all the strands of the hair and it's going to stay on the hair even after I rinse it off. So this one right here is my hair max. It's like a deep conditioner. It's going to also help to add moisture to the hair and really 
deep condition the hair so i'm gonna apply this all over the hair and nothing about that particular conditioner or rather air max is that this smell is so nice i love the way it smells so much that's the reason why i always use it on my wigs and on my clients wigs because i want your hair to be smelling nice the moment when you pass and or somebody just comes close to you and smells your hair your hair smells so good that's the reason why i love that hair max so right now i'm brushing the hair to ensure that all the products seeps in and i'm going to leave it leave all the products on for about three hours and i'm going to rinse it off while i proceed to the next step right now what i'm doing is i'm applying my argan moroccan argan oil serum to my uh, uh, to my palm and i'm going to massage the serum on my palm and then apply it all over the wig take note this hair is still wet it's still wet i only rinsed it off after i left the product to sit on the hair for about three hours and I'm about to start styling the hair. Look at this product here. People keep asking me questions about this mousse. So I'm going to take my time and show you this mousse so that you won't ask me questions about it again. It's called the Vitaly 3-in-1 hair, ter hair Therapy. It's a volumizing mousse. So what it does, it, it helps you when you're styling your hair to give you that voluminous look. And it also helps the curls on your hair to hold strong. So I'm just applying a large quantity of the mousse to my palm. And I'm going to apply the mousse all over the entire wig before I start styling it. So you look at this, very large. So I'm going to apply it from the up part down towards the up back side and the ends of the hair. You want to ensure that all the sides of the wig get this mousse because this move right, mousse right here is the magic. It is what is going to make the curls that are going to roll into this hair last long. It is what is going to make the hair look voluminous when I start to comb it when I have set all the curls and remove the rollers from the hair. So right now i'm using the that's my favorite comb there's no me without this comb like there's no styling <laughs> of any hair without that comb so i'm just using that comb right there to comb through the entire wig and what i'm trying to do right now is i'm taking away the parts of the hair that are very long the way this wig is structured is such that the front is sort of like a fringe while the middle part the back side is completely long while the front part is completely shorter so i'm trying to ensure that where the end like the closure the middle part of the hair is well is combed clean and flat so when i'm done with styling the hair i don't have to start doing so much work in terms of trying to correct the positioning of the hair i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but right now after i'm done combing the hair to ensure everything is going in the right direction I'm about to start coiling the hair and i'm using the smallest size of my setting rulers because this hair is short so because the hair is short you want to ensure that you use the smaller rulers but depending on the size of the curls you want i think that is what's going to determine how what curls what rulers you use but because i want small wavy curls that's the reason why i'm using these particular rulers right here and i feel like this this small rollers is best for this type of wig because it's really going to give you that very beautiful bouncy curls that you want so cut the hair in small sections i'm starting from the front part of the hair because the front part is going to be the hardest part to coil because the hair on the front part is shorter so i'm cutting the hair in small section and the way i do it is such that i try to imagine we like only imagine i think about what quantity of hair would be sufficient for me to roll on these small rollers because rollers are really small and i don't have a large quantity of it i only bought two packs of the rollers i'm trying to ensure that the two packs is going to be sufficient for this hair so i don't have to be looking for more rollers to complete the entire thing i'm not taking in so much hair and i'm not taking in so little hair i'm just trying to be as efficient as i possibly can so the methodology in which i use in rolling this hair is i cut a small section of the hair i comb through it and i coil it upwards i coil it upwards you can see i put the hair on top of the rollers and i start to coil it in in an upward direction 
upwards not inside the reason why i coil the hair upwards is because i want the hair to have that volume i want it to have that presence when you look at it i'm not hiding the curls if i was hiding the curls i'll be coiling it inside but because i want the curls to be pronounced i'm coiling it upwards i'm going to repeat the same thing right now i'm going to come through this small section of the hair i'm going to reach out for a small roller that's just one piece of the rollers and i'll start to roll the hair on it from the ends of the hair from the tip of the hair i'm just going to take that hair with my fingers i put the rollers on top of it and i use my fingers to wrap the hair around it's a bit difficult to do for the shorter end but just keep on seeing how i persist and i start to roll the hair on it and i move all the way to the top just be patient just hold on to it and you keep rolling it until you get to the top of the head then i'm going to get the clip the supporting clip for the rulers and just clip the hair up yes that's how you do it so this is a repetitive process you're going to watch me do it for the entire hair and you want to make sure that you work in sections from how the wig is structured after i finish coiling the front part that probably has a fringe you start going towards the sides and from the sides you go towards the back you can go from the up part and walk your way downwards and you proceed to the other side and curl the hair in you want to ensure you curl the hair in the direction in which you want the you want the curls to be like there's a pattern to it you don't just curl the hair you just you can't just gather random hair you have to go in a clean direction like you cut the hair in a small section at a particular area and curl the hair there watch and see how i do it like this video is very explanatory just watch and see how i do it we are done with coiling the entire hair right now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take this hair out so that i can air dry it air dry it sun dry it i want the hair to get very dry and i'm going to put it directly under the sun that is more like I'm, it's outside some people ask me questions about it like i take the hair to my balcony and i put it on is thick there for it to stay dry to stay there and dry for about three to four days so i actually left the hair out for about four days 
yeah i left it back for about four days but you can choose to leave it out there for three days four days or five days whichever one you want so right now i'm going to start taking out the setting rollers on the hair you can see how beautiful and how strong the curls are the hair is not strong but you can see that the curls itself is solid because i left the hair on i left the rollers on the hair for a number of days that's like four days so i'm gonna start taking off the entire rollers off of the hair and after i'm done taking out the rollers from the hair i'm going to start to comb the hair but it's a particular comb i'm going to use to comb the hair so just stay tuned so you can see what comb i use in combing the hair and you get to see how the curls look after i have combed the hair i know right now it looks a bit funny so i'm going to use this wide tooth comb you can see how wide that comb is I'm going to start using the combing part of it now to comb through the hair. So you can see how the curls are looking right now. So even while I comb the hair, you can see that the curls are jumping back up and it's looking very full and voluminous. That's what that mousse does for you. Just see how full the hair looks right now. So I'm going to keep on combing, combing the hair, combing the hair, combing the hair from one side of the hair and over to the other side just see how full and beautiful this hair looks even while i'm combing the hair the curls are just returning back to me like it's bouncing back see how beautiful this hair looks it's so easy for you to maintain your wigs it's so easy follow this step and you'd have the most beautiful wig again right here this is the center of the wig i want to ensure that i lay that place there to be very flat and you know all the hair is going in a clean direction that's the reason why i applied my style wax here you know the styling wax i just put it on the center there and i used my coiling wand to just put pressure on that area so the hair they can leave flat but i think i wanted more from that area so i added the hair wax again and i'm gonna put that styling mousse i used in coiling the hair i just put it on the center of the hair and i'm going to go back to my coiling wand to flatten that area really well and you're going to see that by using the hair mousse and the wax together it makes a lot of difference in how the wig is going to look you're going to see that after i've styled it with these two products it's going to have a bit of a shine there and it's going to be flatter than how it was before i used the styling mousse so take your time and ensure that you get that very flat look you want for the center of the wig just flatten 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 and you get to see the final look very soon so if you enjoyed watching this tutorial please make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up like the video share with your friends who are also going to get value from this video people that i style their wigs for like this i charge them minimum of a thousand naira to do this so me teaching you these things for free on youtube like that youtube adsense money it's not usually much because i'm not getting millions of views yet but hopefully i will soon but for me to be coming out here and teaching you things that i use and making money in my business please appreciate me by giving me a huge thumbs up and sharing this video with your friend who's also going to get value from it thank you so much for watching and remember be bold have courage live a positive life it's so important to have courage in life because most of the certain things that you talk yourself out of doing but the moment you choose courage you just have to notice that you're excelling in all areas of your life thanks so much for watching guys bye